guys, I did it. I hopped on the train. I hopped on. I hopped on everybody's latest obsession, the Stanley Cup. But I didn't have to wait for the drop. I clicked, they sent me an email that they were restocking, and I clicked and it said Dix was selling them. It also said Target was, but they were all sold out, and Target had not my vibe colors. So I clicked on the Dix, and they were selling only a couple, I think like charcoal. I got cream. So it came in like two days on Dix, and the reason that I got it, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna include this in my what's in my hospital bag video, when I had Jameson, when you have any, I mean when I had Manix too, but it wasn't my obsession. I'm obsessed with everything that they give you at the hospital. Like I love, this lighting's a little, I don't know. I love the, I ordered when I had Jameson, I ordered the underwear. They're like, not even underwear. They're like see-through mesh, super thin underwear I guess they're like boy shorts but they hold the pad in place really well and then I ordered the hospital grade pads because they're just my favorite which my best friend told me she just had a baby recently actually like two back to back and she was telling me that the Frida mom I think that's what she said I don't know I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna try them out but I loved like when I say love got on Amazon and ordered them and I loved them this is kind of gross but they give you this huge water bottle and first of all they have like pebble ice which that's on my list the $700 ice machine because it's just so good that ice is so worth it they have it at Disney everywhere we went at Disney they had it and I was like oh this is just the best ice but they have that at the hospital and it's just again the best ice let me just label this vlog the best ice you've ever had. Everybody knows. If you know, you know. They give you this water bottle. And it's like, I wonder how much it is. Like, how much it holds. But it's huge plastic. And it comes with, like, a that straw that you can go with. You know? <laughs> and it was my favorite water bottle. And when I'm breastfeeding, I, I drink a lot of water now. But when I'm breastfeeding, I'm psychotic and another thing that I developed during this last birth was is that I cannot drink just plain water it makes me nauseous obviously if I have to like take a sip or something but I have to have lemon in my water so tons of ice in there like ice cold water with lemon and I would gulp it down I would have like four of them a day and I would wash it all the time as also has a handle on it so it's like it has a handle and that just is a game changer because I have my Yetis, I have the big Yetis. I don't know what they hold, but they're my favorite, but they're so heavy. Like, and they fit in the cup holder and everything, but they're so heavy and you're holding it with your hands and it's just not, it, like if, say if you're, you could go for a walk with this. I mean, I wouldn't want to because I don't want to hold anything while I'm walking, but the one day I went, I don't know what was going on, but I went to go look at, like the, to wash it and I went to look into it and the straw had a ton of mold in it. Mortified, mortified. So I had to get rid of it. I could have probably bought like another straw, but like that's just the whole thing. Just the whole thing was just, it's just was, it made me so happy. Now a couple things. I drink room temperature water. I don't drink cold water. So I'm not worried about something staying hot or cold in it. But you definitely don't like, especially being in the Florida sun or wherever you are, you don't want the heat hitting the water bottle anyway so I want an insulated water bottle like this anyways I'm nervous I feel like it's gonna get so dirty so fast but I mean my Yeti is held up incredible I have them in like four colors I think I just gave my mom a couple because I don't really use them anymore when I'm at home I use a mason jar but it's so perfect it fits right in your cup holder I do kind of wish this wasn't plastic but maybe we'll see if we can switch it out um I have I actually have a stainless steel one I don't know we'll see but I have a ton of straws at home but it was really easy to get off at first I was like how do you get this off you just twist it off I filled it up with I cleaned it obviously 
but even Jameson was like amazed by it because my kids are such water drinkers, they're obsessed with water. I just really love it. So I had to tell you guys it's worth the hype. I'm sure I'm not the first person you're hearing about it from, but it's worth the hype. Check Dick's, like I said, Target has them, some Targets have them. And then I know they do restocks and it's like obnoxious. I am obsessed with the Broncos. Like if I didn't need space, I would be whipping around a Bronco. They had one at the fair and it was so dope. I was like, oh, I'm obsessed. I'm just heading really quick. Colin got home at seven this morning and I was like, I need to run out. And I think I just missed the street, no. I was like, I need to run out to get some coffee creamer. When I get home, I'll show you guys my favorite coffee. This is the thing that kind of frustrates me. I do not drink coffee for a kick, a wake up call, the caffeine. I drink it because I just enjoy it. It just brings me to that happy place. You know that first sip, that first cup of coffee that you have, it just brings you joy. And it definitely isn't the first thing you should be putting in your body, but I think you should put in your body whatever makes you happy. Get the Stanley cup. And I'll see you guys when I get out of the grocery store. Swimming in two holes. from the grocery store and I lit one of my incense you guys these are my favorite incense they're so good I can't remember the other one that I tried what the name was but I think it was refresh they're pink they're like a purplish pink so good but I wanted to try a new one so this time I tried the calm I think the calm is the new one I tried no Purify. I can't remember, but I got Purify and Calm, and they're both really, really good. These are my favorite incense. They smell up the whole house. That's the thing with the essential oils, which stinks, is because it's all one space. Like it's like our kitchen, living room, dining room. It's hard to um, use them. Like it, you can't really smell it unless it's right in front of your face. Okay, so they had some decent watermelon. I'm gonna try to save. Because Mannix loves watermelon. I'm gonna try to see if I can save it. Hi, honey. I got some watermelon. I also got this creme de brie, which they have like a spreadable cheese. They have a spreadable cheese, and it's so good. So this one's a brie one. So I wanna try this. And then I just got some Simple Mills crackers. And then I got the Perfect Bars for the kids. There's eight in here, so probably last a week. And then I got some fresh mozzarella because I'm gonna make like a little tomato salad. And I also got some Applegate, which is a really good brand, salami. So I can add that in for a little bit of protein with my little tomato salad that I showed you guys. And then the hazelnut Chobani creamer, that's what I had the last time, I loved it. So I also wanted to try the sweet cream wanted to get vanilla too because I feel like you just can't go wrong with just a vanilla, you know? Sometimes you just want that vanilla, but I really was loving the hazelnut and I'm like, if I don't love the sweet cream or I get sick of the hazelnut, I'll just go with, go with that. So I'm gonna make a coffee right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Okay, so I have my glass. You guys, my favorite glasses that I was using for my coffee currently, both broke because all of the William Sonoma, William Sonoma, I think these are Crate and Barrel, actually, I lied. The Crate and Barrel cups, I have a few different kinds. They break so easily, it's crazy. So, Ice Matters, you guys, this is my favorite. I got it off Amazon. This is like the Pebble Ice I was talking about earlier. So I got these out because I've been trying to organize and stuff because we're gonna be moving soon. So I got these out to fill them up and I didn't fill them up last night and I'm so mad. That's the really good ice but this is really good ice too so okay I 
think I'm gonna try sweet cream. Okay, so I've been using this Chameleon Organic Cold Brew Concentrate. I use the vanilla one. It is really, really good. I really love it. It does have some natural flavors on it because you guys, I turn everything over and look. So it's organic cold brew coffee, water organic coffee, and then it has organic natural flavors, which is a little sketch, but we'll live. So I literally do a half a cup and I measure it because obviously with being pregnant, your coffee consumption is important. Like you don't want to overdo it. This is the milk that I use. I actually just found a place that will deliver raw milk, which I'm gonna start doing. I need to get on and set that up. But so I just do a half a cup of the Chameleon Organic Cold Brew. And then I fill pretty much the rest with milk. Cause you only need a little creamer, you guys. This is so strong. All right, I'm gonna try sweet cream today with you guys. Okay. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells like, you literally need the smallest amount. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So, okay, let's see. Ooh, maybe that's the morning vibe, Alanis. What do you think, Jamal? Alanis Morsa? You gotta stir it. Obviously, this looks like vanilla milk. Like, where's the coffee, right? Sorry, the lighting is so bad, and without that light, you can't see anything, and yeah, and there is our laundry, and the door broke off, and I just haven't got it fixed because I hate it. Does it just mean you hate dealing with that kind of stuff? I really just put it off. Okay, let's see. So good. Mm. That's dreamy. I seriously feel like I wake up, do breakfast, clean, do lunch, clean, dinner, clean. Thank God I love being in the kitchen because I can't imagine. But I want to share with you guys my favorite go-to lunch that I've been making. Okay, so first I did tomato, and then I'm gonna do avocado. And then I'm gonna top the tomatoes with some spicy sprouts that I got from Whole Foods. I really love them. Did not hold it and put this on the plate, but I have a half a piece of burrata. And then I'm gonna top that with a little bit of basil. And then I'm gonna top everything with some salt and pepper. I talk about it all the time, but I use Jacobson salt. It is really, really high quality. Okay. Then I'm gonna do some extra virgin olive oil. I was listening to The Skinny Confidential yesterday. I'll tell you which episode, but it was with Max. I don't know, I forgot how to say his last name, but he was talking about how many benefits olive oil has for you. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of balsamic glaze. And then I'm good to go. 
never not, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on Check my reppin' on, check my repertoire, don't check me not Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on Check my reppin' on, check my repertoire, don't check me not Unless it's checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never fold, never ever fold, never ever stone or rolling stone Till I'm in rolling stone, bet I'm close to gold Need a place, need a safer bank I've been saving change, I need some space Chatting in my face, get from around my way Hey, hey, hey. What you saying, where you at now? I swear that once I leave my city, never coming back down Wait from pushing tapes to glowing up around the map now Real hot summer, keep my cool, I never act out hey, hey, hey. Yes indeed, recognize what you want, might not be what you need 